Hey everybody, I'm here sitting in the tiny house having my coffee and it was noticeably warmer in here this morning. It definitely was. It's just a whole different atmosphere in here from last year to this year. I'm just really glad that I've got all this done. Who knows how long it's going to take me to get the actual ceiling up. And I think what I'm going to experiment with is I'm going to break apart some pallets. Um... I've got some pallets. I've got one that I can take a few rungs off and just kind of see what it would be like to put them up, how long they are. I'm not a good judge. You know, I could measure, but who likes to measure? Not me. <laughs> um, and I'm thinking of doing the entire ceiling in pallet wood planks, screwing them to the studs. It's not going to be variegated. It's not going to go back and forth. It's all going to be probably uniform. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to work, but I'm certainly going to try um, but until then, it's just going to look like a disco in here, but it's going to be a warm disco and it's going to be cooler in the summer. So thank you everyone who sent me those, um, rolls of insulation. It's just worked really well. I've only had to buy, I think I bought myself one, two, three of the 10 foot rolls, but otherwise people just out of the goodness of their hearts sent me rolls of insulation. Um, anyhow, so I gotta get outside. I gotta let the chickens out and see how those two baby chicks did. It is supposed to rain again today, off and on, and it's gonna be cold, so these baby chickens, sorry if you can't hear me over these chickens. They're gonna be none too happy, but the two little ones are doing just fine. And I got up and there was a white egg in the middle of here, so I just put it in the file cabinet, but where, where's the leghorn? Where's the leghorn? Oh my gosh. Where's the leghorn? Oh, check this out. She's got another egg laid down there. Whoa, she must have laid that other egg late, and then she crawled up underneath of this to lay another one. You know what? I think they're probably picking on her. So I'm going to put her in the back. Nope. Ain't going to happen. <laughs> Mama, she was just relaxing back there. She's fine. You didn't let me catch her. So I just got some food and water in here for these. And they did great. They did super duper great. I'm going to crack some windows. And hopefully these chickens won't lay in weird places. <laughs> so... I think everything's going to be okay in here. They're going to be mad, but they at least they won't be cold and wet. Hello, beautiful. There's my boys. Hi, boys. Want to go get some grub? Where's Sunny? There's Sunny. Come on, you guys. <laughs> They're like, no way, Mom. We've been cooped up all night. We're going to go out running around. Midnight always comes up to me. The other dogs, they do not. They'll, they'll kind of look at me. There's one over there, too. And when I try and get close to them to pet them, they run away. That's all right. I think the chickens will be okay in their coop. They were out all day yesterday. And um, it's going to keep it warmer inside the van. So, yeah, they're just going to stay in there. The Easter Eggers, I'll show you them here in a minute. They're in their run. Yeah, they're not going to like that either, but they got food and water out here and inside the pen. Um, but I just don't want them getting cold and wet. Yeah, and the roosters aren't going to dig being in there. <laughs> but you know what? It's better to be safe than sorry. I don't want anybody getting cold and wet and ending up croaking on me, if you know what I mean. It's about 9.30 right now, and it's just starting to rain. Um, it looks like it's not going to rain all day, but I don't know. You, you just don't know out here. So the chickens are still staying up in the van. It's just really damp out there. Uh, they're not going to find a lot of food anyhow, so they're going to stay warm and dry. And after it stops raining, hopefully it will stop raining soon. I got, I need to go chop up some more wood. Um, I'm going to use the bow saw. It's going to be smaller stuff. I know it's going to be damp, but I still need to get it cut up because what I've got wood-wise, I, I keep thinking, oh, it's going to be enough. But... 
I don't think it is. We've got like four more days and nights where it's going to be super cold. So even if I just cut up small stuff, that's going to be something. I can bring it inside and start, you know, drying it off. So about 30 minutes, I'm going to go out and start sawing up some wood. It is raining down ice again. Oh my gosh, again. Every time I try and go out and start doing something, cutting up some wood, it starts coming down. I am so glad that I didn't let those chickens out. I'm so glad because it is so freezing cold outside and damp. I got a nice fire going. I, I do have to go outside. I have to bring some more, the last of the wood that I've got in the shed inside the tiny house. I may bring some larger pieces of wood up to the porch and try and cut them up there. Ugh. I will be glad when this cold snap is over, like in four days. I mean, I know it's still going to drop down, but it's not going to be this bad, hopefully. <laughs> Get my fingers crossed! While I'm waiting for it to stop raining and icing, how about some puppy TV? They're sleeping. Okay, I did it. I put some more wood here. There's wood underneath the wood-burning stove. Wood back here. This is the last of my cedar. Oh, I'm so sad. And then stacked up a bunch of wood here. And I've, I've actually got quite a nice stack still left. So I think I'm going to be okay, but we're just going to let this dry out. And guess what I'm making, guys? <laughs> a pot of beans! And I think that's all I'm going to be able to get done today, except for when I have to go back out and check the chickens again. In fact, I'm probably going to check them a couple times just to make sure they haven't dumped over their water or anything like that. Uh, yeah, in the beans, I've got curry in there, curry powder. I've got banner sausage, uh, beans, and all sorts of veggies. So it'll be wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. I know you guys probably think I'm crazy for making so many beans, but I love them. I do. I just love them. They kind of make me remember back when my mom made bean soup, ham, hocks, and beans. And uh, there is nobody else in this world who can make a pot of beans like my mom. And it just kind of like makes me remember that. So, yeah, I'm having another pot of beans today. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.